Good afternoon, everybody. Phil Simons with Columbia Grain here in your February post USDA supply and demand monthly report recap. Well, let's go ahead and dive right into the numbers here as we did see the latest round of monthly supply and demand numbers come out from the USDA. And I'm going to share my screen with you and we're, let's get right into the numbers. But again, once we navigate to our favorite, to our favorite website, ColumbiaGrain.com, we can navigate to the upper right-hand corner to producer solutions. Again, this is going to take you to where we house all of our data in terms of potential market driving news. So again, right at the middle of the page here, we see the latest USDA charts. And let's take a look and see what the what the numbers were at here today. So again, if we start at the top uh, of the of the of the chart here, we see the USDA, the US grain ending stocks. Uh, we can kind of break everything down by corn, wheat, and beans. But if we start start with corn, we see the February number did come in at 1.266 uh, billion bushels for US ending stocks for corn. Now, really, when we compare that to the average estimate, the average estimate came in at 1.262 billion, so really right in line. Uh, but when we compare that to the number that we had last year over on the right, we see the last year's number was 1.377. So realistically, we are down close to about 8% uh, from where we were last year at this time. Uh, next up, we take a look at soybeans, which came in at 225 uh, million bushels for ending stocks in the U.S., uh, which really was a little bit higher than where the average trade estimate had them coming in at 211 million bushels. In same fashion, um, about 210 million uh, bushels for last month is where the numbers came in at. Uh, so really the, the, uh, the increase in the ending stocks in soybeans came in in fewer crush beans uh, from last month. Uh, which was a little bit of a surprise to the market here. But really, when we take a look and see where, where the numbers were last year, we did have 274 uh, million bushels. So really, when we compare this year to last year, we're down close to about 18% uh, for U.S. ending stocks for soybeans. Uh, next up, taking a look at wheat, we see the February number came in at 568 uh, million bushels. Really did pretty much come right in line with the, uh, with the average trade estimates. But again, we are down about 15% from where we were last year at this time. Next up, if we take a look at world crop production, uh, really Brazil for corn and beans did come right in line with the average trade estimates and really where the numbers were last month. So really not much of a change there. Um, but then when we take a look at Argentina, we do see that corn production uh, come, it came in at 47 million metric tons. Uh, which was down about 5 million metric tons from the number last month. Uh, and again, about 5% lower than where we were last year at this time. Uh, same fashion on Argentina soybeans, the number, numbers today came in at 41 million metric tons. Uh, and again, down from 45.5 million metric tons from last month. Uh, but really, when we take a look at the year on year change, down about 7%. Uh, in Argentina. And then when we take a look lastly at the last section here, the world ending stocks on, on total, we see that corn uh, came in at 295.3 million metric tons. Uh, again, when we compare that to last year at this time, we are down about 3%. Uh, soybeans, just on the exact opposite side of that, came in at about 102 uh, million metric tons, which was up about 4% from where we were last year at this time. Uh, and again, wheat actually came in at 269.3 uh, million metric tons today, which was actually up about a million metric tons from where we were last month. But again, when we compare that to last year, we're down about 3%. So again, just additional information to really digest. But now that we have that uh, in the market, you know, we're going to continue to look at weather and what potential weather situations may be driving the markets around. And again, we're, we're starting to really focus in on potential planning intentions uh, coming in at the end of March. So really get a hold of your local Columbia Grain merchandiser, get your orders out there and working to take advantage of any potential knee-jerk reactions that we see in the markets. And again, really, that's about it for today. Uh, the markets are, are really continuing to digest the, uh, the report from today. And again, we're just going to really switch back over to see what the potential weather implications are going to be uh, going forward. So really, again, just be sure to get a hold of your local Columbia Grain merchandiser and get your orders out there and working. And we'll talk with you on Friday. But remember that if your trading strategy seems to be working, you haven't used it long enough. Have a great week, everybody. We'll talk with you Friday.